What Amazon problem can I help you with? Actually, my question is uh, about a new client uh, we onboarded this week. We had the onboarding okay. meeting on Tuesday. Uh, it's called Quash. Um, they're active in Australia and UK, but we're, we will be working on Australia. The thing is, you know, they're selling indoor insect traps. It's an electronic good, not a zapper, but uh, with the UV flight, it's catching the flies and, and bugs and traps in the device. The product is it's a very seasonal product from September to March when it's you know hot in Australia, the sales are increasing. But the client us wants us to make it you know even out the seasonality because the client says also the, this product is catching the fungus gnats as well and also the fruit flies as well, which are you know during whole year old, so not the mosquitoes only. The thing is actually. Um, the current rating of the product, which is 3.7 in Australia uh, marketplace with 400 reviews. Also, there is an exact match of this product in US market as well under a different brand name, which is catchy. And it's also um, rating is 3.9 with more than you know 90,000 reviews. And they're selling very in high numbers. Also, there is a third one catchy in Australia marketplace as well. And it's also below 4.0. 3.9 I wouldn't delete for. How bad was it? The thing is, we're just worried about if it's a performance issue. You know, all the listings are below four and all the low ratings are with the same uh, reason. Like, you know, they're also commenting about... I wouldn't it. delete this one because it's already got 400 reviews in, you know, 3.7. Honestly, it's going to get a 3.7 if you remade it anyway. I, I would leave that alone. Okay, so now we've established that. Now, this main image doesn't show any bugs. That's the first problem. Exactly. So this is the catchy in US with uh, with much more sales and ratings. And just like this one, I believe it's it's very strong. So we were thinking about adding. I, I would say this is better, but not strong enough. Here's what I want to do. You basically outline exactly what needs to be done. There are six bugs right here. I want you to take three of them and put them onto the main image and make them gigantic. The reason we're going to do this is because it solves almost all of your problems. Number one, people will understand what the product does fast. Number two, you say it's seasonal because of mosquito season, but there's the off season that these other bugs are prevalent, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna do what I like to call a napkin wire. So I want bug one, bug two, bug three. And we got our like little buggies here or whatever. And I want bug one, two, and three next to it. I want there to be like some sort of like sucking motion, like going huh. into the product or whatever. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell the consumer how the product works, what the product's for, and they don't have to think about it all in the main image. This is yeah. going to double the click through rate. It's going to double the sales and you won't have to do anything else except this one thing.